welcome back to the second installment of our Connemara adventure with Bernard. After the breathtaking experience at that stunning lake, a magnificent tree, we were both buzzing with excitement to see what the rest of the day would unveil. As we drove along the winding roads, each bend revealed more of Connemara's rugged beauty. The views opened up around every corner, and the light played in our favour, constantly shifting and creating fleeting moments of brilliance. Now this dynamic light meant we had to stay on our toes, turning our journey into more of a run-and-gun adventure rather than a meticulously planned one. That's the thing about light, it waits for no one. To capture the magic, we needed to be fluid and adaptable, seizing every opportunity before it disappeared. So join us as we embrace the unpredictable, chasing the light and discovering the hidden gems of the stunning Connemara. Sit back and enjoy the views we encountered until the light stops us in our tracks for our first composition. What will it be and where will we end up? Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog and welcome to the continuation of my journey here in Connemara and I'm with Bernard and we have just stopped at a place here at the side of the road and I'm trying to go as quick as I can through Bogland. Have a look here behind me. See those trees, look at the light. Now I'm rushing to try and get up here, try and get a composition and wait for the light to come along and light up those trees. It's going to be class. So yeah, talk to you in a second when I get over here. Okay, I made it over here now, and as you can see by me, just in time, because the light now is streaming down towards me. Now at the beginning up here when I first arrived, which is these trees that are here, um, the light was hitting them perfectly. So I managed to get a couple of shots of that, but as now it's moving here as well. Now there's one very good tip as well to give is, don't wait around, you know, get your shot quickly because the light will move, and put your camera on high speed continuous because you don't know when you're going to be able to catch the optimum aspect of the light. If you're just waiting around thinking okay it's going to get better and get better or you're taking slow shots you won't be able to get the best of the light because it moves like that. So Bernard you got over here first to get a nice shot. Yeah it's beautiful, beautiful. So yeah and this is how far we are from the road. There is the vehicle and uh, yeah right behind us here this whole area is absolutely incredible. But look at the light here as it's moving behind us and it's changing so unreal. Here's first shot, let's see what else we get now from this part of the adventure.
after that last epic light that we got in those trees, we now are coming right here on the side of the road to a viewpoint, which is behind me here, of a boathouse looking over onto this mountain range. And what we're hopeful for is we saw as we were driving along here, a lot of breaks in the clouds. We were getting rays of light coming down. Hopefully we'll get it. Uh, if it does, I'll check back in in a moment. has been teasing us here as you might have seen in the video I had some nice light that was coming across from over here and then coming across the mountain there never reached actually that far far side but it kind of dissipated as it was leaving here but I think I managed to get a couple of shots but now I'm looking here in the distance and I don't know if you can see here we have another one that's actually coming through and I think this one might be actually stronger as well now we are still at the side of the road so it's quite interesting but yeah I'll give you a look at the shots that I have so far and if this other one then as well comes through I'll give you a look at that shot as well what an incredible spot and again from the side of the road. definitely a run and gun day type of day today so we went from that last spot on the road and we were going to go to another area but as you can see there's some really really dark clouds around so they're blocking out the entire area that we wanted to go to but now driving along the road here we just spotted this small area here I'll give you a turn around and give you a look so there's this small area that's down below us here um, and we've got a river that runs through it now when I first arrived 
there was a deer and the deer was just sitting right at the edge of the water. So I tried to go to the camera, but he went behind the hedges. So I waited and then it came through and then a second one as well came out. Now they moved quite quick. I don't know if I got a shot of them or not, but if I did, I'll give you a look at it anyway here. But now as well, it's starting to rain. So behind me up uh, here, I had a rainbow that went right across from there to here. So I think I got a shot of that as well. Now, definitely a changeable weather day today. I think it's been quite interesting in the different spots that we've gotten to. Uh, all kind of run and gun really with Bernard at the wheel. And again, taking us to some really, really good location. enjoyed coming along in this episode i'm going to finish it up right here thank you very much as always for tuning in don't forget next wednesday when i do my behind the raw and i go through one image which probably be this one here and until the next time please hit the subscribe button etc etc stronger fall